you kidding me? I just made a Splatoon 1 vs Splatoon 2 specials comparison video three weeks ago. Now you just have to come out with this new Booyah Bomb. Don't get me wrong, it's a good special, but now I gotta make a video about the dang Booyah Bomb. Dang it, Red. So the Booyah Bomb came out last week, and it's pretty dang good. Like Blah Blobber before Nerf good. Now, a few weeks ago, I made a comparison between Splatoon 1 and Splatoon 2 specials, where I basically shunned the Splatoon 2 specials, but right after I contradicted myself with great gameplay of me using the specials for comedic, as well as educational effect that Splatoon 2 specials have their uses as well. In that video, a lot of people had a lot of different opinions, some really challenging mine, which I appreciate, and one of those opinions was based on why I should compare the Ink Strike 2. Some people said Tenor Missiles, which I still feel like is the closest thing to Echo Locator, since it tracks enemies for a short time. Others said the Splashdown, because instead of you shooting a nuclear missile that delivers complete and utter ink visceration, the splashdown turns you into a nuke that delivers complete and utter ink visceration. I can see where both ideas came from, but I compared it to the ink storm because they're both something you throw out and have them cover ink for you. Of course, I still defended the ink storm versus ink strike comparison for reasons like those until this broken special came out. The booyah bomb is basically like the blob lobber when it first released. A great weapon that is really annoying to fight. And since people want freaking shut, I mean, keep reminding me me about not having the Booyah Bomb in my last comparison, I'm gonna make a separate more in-depth one just for the Booyah Bomb. Of course, I'll be comparing the Booyah Bomb to the Ink Strike since they are very similar. This video will be a bit more serious, but you can still have a handful of jokes and sarcasm here because I mean, hey, can't have an Alpha Star video without that. So let's compare the radius of the two specials first. These are pretty much equal and where the Ink Strike has an advantage. Now the Booyah Bomb is like a dome, but it only goes up so high. The Booyah Bomb and Ink Strike have about the same radius, but the ink strike, no matter how high you are, will kill you. The radius is about equal, but the height advantage goes to the ink strike. Also, the ink strike does have infinite range, whereas the booyah bomb doesn't. Next up, we got the protection levels. Using the ink strike is kind of like using a nuke, but it has a bit of a low time just before you launch it and completely block off an area for your enemy to go for a little while. The ink strike user is a fragile little thing in the meantime, not being able to use its main weapon and being able to be splatted in just a few shots. The booyah bomb while charging is very sturdy to say the least. It's like Nogami, the guy from the Splatoon 2 presentation, came into work with Lil Sleep and said, hey, let's make the Booyah Bomb just like the Ink Strike, but let's slap on just, just a pinch of ink armor on it. Just a little bit, maybe like four freaking sets of it. With the Booyah Bomb, you have about five times the health that you normally do, so your normal HP plus about four ink armor is on top of that. You can normally activate this thing in plain sight, which you kind of do a lot of the time because you raise a few feet off the ground, but you can stare your opponent in the eye for a few seconds comfortably without having to worry about getting splatted. Unless an entire team gangs up on you, you could dang near use this thing as a plain panic button against most weapons. 14 year old kid with no protection launching nukes, or Goku with 5 layers of titanium armor launching spirit bombs. You can guess which is more powerful in this case. These specials are dang near equal in most other ways, except for the whole Booyah spiel with the Booyah Bomb, but the Booyah Bomb is pretty much Ink Strike 2.0, a more protected but less damage dealing and limited range Ink Strike. As much as I would like to shame the Booyah Bomb like I did the other Splatoon 2 specials, there's nothing that big to shame, just little trade-offs. Now as much as we're all loving blasting opponents with Spirit Bombs, this thing is maybe, probably, definitely gonna get nerfed. Your pseudo invincibility when having it will probably be hit down to 200 to 300%, over 400 to 500%, and the radius might be slightly knocked down, but I don't expect the second one to really happen because the radius of the Booyah Bomb, Ink Strike, and Splashdown are around the same thing. First you gotta take my broken bathtub and nerf it, now you gotta take my spirit bomb for my new main weapon that I'm totally not being a bandwagon on, and nerfing that. How about you remove the undercover bell of splashdown? Show these kids how to aim- Anyway, what do you guys think about the Booyah Bomb? Also, what do you think about this comparison video style? Along with how X players see why, I might add these types of videos to my channel. Let me know in the comments, and remember to subscribe to AlphaStar716 for more content on Splatoon 2 and other things gaming. See you all next time.